For the new user trying to get to know how to use their Insta360 X3, your accessory needs are going to be minimal. Start out with a camera and a way to hold it. You can do this with either the Insta360 selfie stick or any selfie stick or a small tripod. There really is no convenient way to hold the camera. As you can see, the camera itself is very slippery, so you do tend to drop it if you're just going to hold it like this. That's where the small tripod or the selfie stick comes into play. Having it attached like this allows you a way to grip the camera securely. <clears throat> the single battery is also going to be enough for you, considering you can record up to 81 minutes. One thing you do have to consider is, do you really want to be editing or looking back at 81 minutes worth of footage? Does your audience really have the patience to look through 81 minutes worth of footage? For the next level user, or people that travel or have extended use scenarios, considering adding more batteries to your inventory, and also the quick charge hub. The batteries do come in a protective case, you can keep a micro SD card there just in case you need extra SD cards and they do provide reasonable protection for the batteries. I generally don't bring the quick charge hub with me in the field because it does add weight considering you're going to have to have some sort of battery bank to charge the batteries in the field. Another thing you may also want to consider, the batteries don't tend to stay in the slot if you're moving a lot they do have the tendency to come off because they're just held on by friction. You'll be surprised when you pick up a battery and then it doesn't have a full charge. For people that do talking head or narration type videos, you will want to invest in a few more devices. Consider a wireless mic system like the Rode Wireless Go 2. You're also going to need a way to secure it to the camera. That can be done with the Ulanzi PT20. This, by the way, is in very short supply. As of March 2023, you can only get this at the um, Insta360 website. It comes all the way from China. I ordered it, and it takes about seven business days. Um, I'm sorry, seven days to get here from, um, from point of order. This will also come with the cable that will allow you to connect the receiver to the camera. Last piece of kit that you're going to need is the Insta360 um, mic adapter specific for the X3. I'm not really quite sure if you can use the mic adapter from the X2 on the X3. But as far as how this will look, grab the camera, grab the cold shoe adapter from Ulanzi. It's held on by either the selfie stick or the small tripod. The receiver goes in with the mic with the input jack um, output jack facing outwards and it will have three holes by the way corresponding to the holes in the clip as you can see that's a flush fit and then finally the cable take this out, the cover to the USB-C port. It's just a matter of pulling it out and clipping it in. Oh, sorry. Mic adapter right there and finally clipping it in. So that's what it's going to look like. One more piece of kit that you're going to need. As you can see with this, you can no longer use the sleeve, the protective sleeve that comes with a camera because it now is blocked by the mic adapter and also this. There is no way to safely store this, uh, the camera and protect the lens without having to do a complete breakdown. For this, you can get the Insta360 silicone lens protector. What it is, it has openings there. Although it does not protect the screen, this screen, by the way, is pretty sturdy, just to let you guys know. I've dropped it and, well, it hasn't damaged it yet. But from here, all I, I do, I take out the, cab the cable and store it as is. When I'm ready to use, I just replug the cable and I'm good to go. 
The nice thing about this system is the microphone adapter, the cable, and the road stay in the stitch line. So it's not gonna show up in your field of view for your camera. Now, for folks, uh, for creators that like to edit on their phones or, fa or are faced with a very tight deadline or just wanna upload videos as quickly as possible, you may wanna consider the Insta360 Quick Reader. It has a USB-C jack for your uh, Android or Samsung devices and also a lightning cable, uh, lightning adapter jack for your um, iPhone or iOS devices. Pretty much it just plugs right in and the, there's a spot there for your uh, micro SD card to put in and just plug it into your phone and then you can download your, um, your footage directly into your phone and start editing. There will be affiliate links in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down the comment section below and I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching.